Hey, what's up guys? Back here again with another install video. It's another feature I'm adding on to my truck. This one is not so much for towing. It's actually for comfort because I live up in the Midwest and we tend to have cold winters and sometimes hot summers. I had this on my old truck and I wanted it again on this truck. However, with this truck, I'm trying to keep it looking OEM and factory on the inside. So I'm going to show you guys what it is right here. Let me just slide on out. Empty box, toss that aside. So as you can see here, little computer system here, some wiring for it. And like I was showing you guys in my last video, I got two new keys. And as you can see right there, I'm putting a remote start in my F-150. Now to get started with this kit, because most F-150s, anything above an XL, already has everything on the inside. Now, what does that mean by when I say everything is inside? It already has a remote start system installed, and you just have to get the antenna for it. Now, it might be different for your truck. For me, I just needed this antenna and the keys that had the remote start button on it. Now there is another thing that you need that you need to check on your truck before you just get this system. Now that is a kill switch under the hood and I'm going to show you that right here. This is what I'm talking about, the kill switch. Most remote starts you have to install a plunger type device like this one here. Somewhere underneath the hood so when the hood is opened your, the truck or vehicle will shut off and you cannot remote start the system. So if your truck does not have that, which most of them do, you'll be fine. Otherwise, you're going to have to order some more parts. Otherwise, all I needed was this guy right here. And this was about $200, which included the antenna, a couple zip ties, the wiring hookup, and two keys, which is a great deal. Seeing as from factory, when you go to the dealer, one of these keys is $145. So I think I got a bargain deal by getting a remote start system. Now the next thing we gotta do is actually install this guy up under here. Now first thing you're gonna wanna do is remove this side panel where on the passenger side, as you can tell, I don't have a steering wheel here, unless you're overseas, but I don't really think there's many F-150s overseas. But anyways, Passenger side, remove this panel, just stick your finger in that hole, pull out, toss that aside. And what you're going to be looking for on this side is where the antenna wire jumper cable is going to be plugging into is here's the AC piece. And this is actually the tire pressure module sensor doohickey thing. And there's going to be a plug in port just underneath here. The antenna wire gets plugged in underneath this guy with the tab facing towards you so outward you're going to plug it in like this just underneath you can see the wire dangling underneath next thing you're going to want to do is open your glove box remove everything out of it well you don't really need to but you're going to push this tab in this tab in and the glove box drops right down which is pretty neat because i did not know that does that that easily and look at all this room for activities. Not actually that much room, but enough room to fit this up underneath here. It's actually gonna face like this and it's gonna get zip tied in. But first we need to fish this wire out this way, like so. All right, so I just put the antenna in and you can see it's right here and it, it already has a spot for it to sit and they supply two zip ties with it so it doesn't move and then right here you can see where I plugged in my antenna or the wire for it that I just kind of snaked through and tucked up nice now it does come with clips but I didn't really see any spots for it to really plug into so I tucked it up nice where it wasn't really in the way of anything and it looked like it was supposed to be there just like everything else kind of pushed up in here and you can kind of see right here and it plugs in right underneath here and you want to make sure that's good and tight in there and it's not going to move and then you just got to push the glove box back in like so 
put this cover back on, make sure it lines up with the AC duct. Make sure it sits under there, lines up with the AC duct. Smack it all back in. There's going to be a couple extra steps to this because I wish it was as easy as just putting it in and saying it's done. I can push the button twice and the truck's going to remote start. It won't because these keys are not programmed to the truck yet and the next step here is actually to take the truck to a Ford dealer to have them unlock the remote start system. I already have plans to go to my local dealership to have them program the keys that I got with this remote start system. Now the reason I'm having them program the keys for me is because I only have one key that starts this truck. When I bought it, it only came with one key, which kind of stinks. So I have to go to the dealership and have them program a key. So while I'm there, having them program a new key for me, while well, cutting the key, programming the key, I'm also going to have them unlock my trailer brake controller, the remote start system, so those things can work too. And my truck will be how I want it, and I'll be happy with it. Even though I was already happy with it before, I'll be more happy with it. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to browse my other videos. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to like this video. And leave a comment if, the, if you found this helpful. Or just say hi. I like saying hi to people. It's fun. It keeps you happy. Anyways, you guys have a good one. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. So I will see you guys later. Bye.